Oh boy. Uh, well, good afternoon and evening, everyone, or just good evening, everyone. This is Terraquator. Welcome to your Thursday. There is a cat back here. Hi, kitty. I startled a cat on our driveway. Well, it's Thursday. Thursday. I'm uh, yeah, it's June 6th, 2024, day 158. I may have pooped my pants. Just being sober, I'm in the yard right now because I need to go over and look at all the things I need to do from when I was sick. Hello, hello. There is actually quite a bit over here. Hang on. That cat is very startled. That cat is very weary of me right now. Hi, kitty. You're not my cat. Hi, kitty. I want to pet the cat really bad, but I know it's terrified. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. There it goes. Let's see if I crouch down, maybe. Let's see. Hi, kitty. No, that cat's terrified. Pretty sure if it, yeah, if you, if you just look to your left, you can see the cat, but that cat's too scared. Hi, kitty. It was uh, sleeping right. Oh, must have been munching on that bone that's down there. I don't know where it got a bone, but if you look, I don't think the landlords here are going to do anything about this uh, carport looking up. I don't think they're going to do anything about it, but I need to take a look around. I see some more dead tree limbs because this tree is technically completely dead. And uh, they won't cut that down. They keep saying they will. They're going to say, I'm responsible for this tree, so I've got to cut all its branches, because uh, this tree in particular, I mean, nice, it's nice, soft uh, leaves and everything, but it can, I, I've dealt with these trees in California before, and they can grow out of control very quickly. So this branch came from the tree up here. The ivy's taking it over. That's normal. But I am not responsible for the dead tree. They are. Not much I can do about it. So there's that. Gotta take care of all the weed whacking over here because I'm behind on that. Never got to it. And, um, yeah, just looking at all the yard work I get to do. And there is a lot. I still need to, uh, back over here, there's all the, um, I, I had raised, I had uh, some raised planter boxes I'd put in, but they, uh, didn't last very long so I need to take care of those landlords are responsible for the deck because uh, they didn't weather treat it apparently so it's coming apart and that's not something I'm responsible for weather treatment is not something that they put on my lease agreement uh, kind of look I know over on the curb over here I'm going to see if they're still over here or not we got a uh, some pretty bad fire ants in a few spots. Back lawn over here is, we'll get to there. But last time I saw the fire ant mounds, they were along this easement. I'm gonna see if they're still here. Hang on. Signs of them are still here. Hang on. I am doing this with my bare hand like an idiot. Like an idiot. But I don't see him over here right now. Which uh, arguably is a good thing, but also a bad thing. That means where did these fire ants go? Where did they go? I don't see him over here, but they were they were along this curb for a while. And they were really, really bad. If they've moved on, that's equally terrifying that's got to be more vine so i gotta take care of that that's two weeks of growth that's two weeks same with over here like this tree was cut back completely back in march you know how i said it grows out of control yeah so i gotta get the uh saw put on my pole my uh pole shears but you know, I have weed killer, which means I can take care of closer to the fence, which is good. And then back here, should have some more fire ant hills back here somewhere. But uh, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to get this uh, 
yard to recover from actually what I'm thinking about doing for the all the dead grass back here which was already an issue Let's see cut that branch probably about there I'd like to cut the whole thing off because it's these excess branches that obviously aren't letting the grass grow back here a lot of dead leaves from it. That cat is absolutely terrified. You okay, kitty? That cat's scared. But if I cut enough of these branches down and get enough sunlight going through, I could probably take the old um, dirt mounds from the raised planter boxes I had and I can move all that dirt back here after treat and then treat it. Which means, you know, get the weeds out of it tamp it down and then kind of redo out here because we only have grass <laughs> up to about here it's not great oh and look you see where the cat is on that concrete right there that's a storm shelter they have refused to give us access to the storm shelter so we have a storm shelter we've had a tornado come through here was it I'm trying to remember if it was sorry trying to remember if it was last year or the year before had a real big hail storm along with it it was only like an ef0 maybe an ef1 but the tornado came through it knocked over every uh telephone pole on southwest lee over um over that way and uh it it did a number on that dead tree but the it was already lightening up Somehow our, all of our windows survived. There were a lot of shattered windows throughout the neighborhood, but ours were just fine, and probably because they're newer type of window. But even even since then, the, the property management has not allowed us to have access to our storm shelter, which has been kind of scary. And that poor kitty is like, what's gonna happen? I'm, try, I'm trying to think, that's one of our neighbor's cats uh, over that way, I think. Because I don't think it's the neighbors over there across the street. I think they're over there on, on the corner over there. But there should be... Ah, here's one. I'm going to put you down nice and close. Hang on. So if you look through the other side of the camera, there is a small ant mound here. Which I'm going to disturb, see if anything happens. I don't see anything at the moment. Okay, there's another one here. I've seen him come out of this one before when I was mowing. See if anything happens. Oh, there they go. Yep, fire ant man. Right there. Yep, there they are. I wondered who, who disturbed the nest. So we got fire ants here quite a few of them see this is er like all eroded right here so I definitely need to I think I'll go over to the store and see if they have any fire ant killer over at like Dollar General I could ask permission to because they asked if, I was asked if I needed to go over to Walmart today and I said no but that's because I was half asleep our kids have been uh... oh there's another one so you got another one here might be the same tunnel system though you can see this must be where they do their garbage but they're coming out now look at that he just came out got some beneficials oh yeah they're coming in and out right now i want to say this is where they dump their garbage these fire ants but i'm gonna give it a tamp huh i don't know see i'm gonna disturb it real quick all right, let's see. No, well, they're not coming out right now. They're coming out the main hill. All right, so this is where they dump their garbage. So this isn't their main entrance. Their main entrance is over there. Or to disturb that. <sighs> this backyard is gonna take so much work. Here, here's another entrance right here. So there is either a whole bunch of separate ones. Got another entrance here. More uh, garbage, garbage. Yeah, they're coming in and out right here. I don't even know if you could see that. I'm probably bringing it way too close. But 
Yeah, I got quite a few. This whole area looks like it's one gigantic ant mound. And I know, I don't know if I can find any of their entrances or if they're still here, but uh, let's see. Oh, the cat left. I don't know when it left. I wasn't paying attention. Oh well, but um, somewhere around here, over by this tree, we should have carpenter ants. And this tree also gets uh, mushrooms. I don't remember the, what the species of mushroom was. But over here, we should have some pretty bad carpenter ants too, but I haven't seen them. But, oh, there is a lot of work this yard needs. Between last month being sick, some of these plants, they grow absolutely out of control. The more I pull them up, the more they keep coming back. <sighs> it's gonna take a lot of weed killer too, which means a lot of collateral. But, <sighs> that's gonna be work. Pretty sure I'm up for it this time. As long as I, you know, stop sleeping in. I gotta get the kids to stop, you know, staying up so late. It's like every time 11 o'clock at night rolls around, they just get hyper, hyper, hyper. I'm talking like they are literally bouncing off the walls kind of thing. They'll jump into the wall. They use our bed as a springboard and start screaming as loud as they can. I don't even know why. It, and it, it's every 11 o'clock right now. So we got to get them to start. We, we've got to find a way to get them to go to bed earlier. That's what we need to do. I really wish that tree service guy was here for us, but I know he's not. That's unfortunate. Oh, he just got done with the job, too. <laughs> That'd be nice if that tree service was here for us. But getting them to go to bed earlier so we can also wake up earlier. Because uh, today's a hot one. I'm going to take these trash cans down to the street before I forget, too. Because trash day is tomorrow. But, yeah, there, there's uh, quite a bit that needs to be done here. And let's take a look here. Yeah, if you if you turn around in a sec. Uh, we just only have a, a few tiger lilies left, but I got to cut this back when they're done so I can pull all the weeds out. But I, I'm going to show you something. These flowers, if you turn around, if these flowers here, they look pretty on these vines. They always get covered in ants. They absolutely always get covered in ants. But you do not, you do not want these trumpet vines in your yard. Is uh, look down here, we have cut it. I cut it almost every single month. Oh, we got honeybees? I gotta figure out where that nest is. Oh, and I gotta be extra careful. Make sure it's not in African eyes too. But we got honeybees apparently, which is awesome. Need bumblebees. Need more bumblebees would be nice. But you look, look, look what it's done to this shed, and it's also doing it back here. We've cut this. I've cut it m almost monthly. Can't keep up with it. These are very, very aggressive, invasive trumpet vines, and you do not want them growing in your yard because they will destroy your home. I've asked numerous times for them to do something about it because I can't keep up with it and I don't have the tools or the know-how. And you can tell they've been here since before we moved in with how embedded they are. And they say, oh, just do rock salt. That hasn't been enough. And now it's bad enough to where I have to call the electric company to take care of this one because it's, it's going up the main electric line. There's not much I can do about it. That one is a bumblebee. Let's see where it's going. It's really excited about something. Where are you going? I don't know. Uh, that right there is where the entrance for the um, storm shelter would be. But like I said, they won't give us access to it. It'd be nice if they did. But the under the um, trampoline, I did that just a week ago. If you look back there, uh, over by the trampoline, I did that a week ago. It is now overgrown again.
Why under the trampoline does it grow exponentially? I don't have an answer for it, but it does. Uh, I'm gonna have to get going because there is still so much more I need to do. There's more in the house and then uh, I'm gonna have a very interesting yard work weekend, I tell you that. Make sure all the batteries are charged up. I gotta be doing it in the morning because it's gonna be a, a hot weekend. It's gonna be a very hot weekend. But yeah, this is Terra Quator on your day 158. Thursday, Thursday, June. Once again, it's June 6th. I shouldn't have to check that, but I do because I get so mixed up with just, I guess I don't pay close enough attention. But uh, yeah, June 6th, 2024, day 158 on a Thursday. I want everyone to take it easy. I'm probably going to record some of this yard work. We'll see. But I'm sorry not in VR chat today. I thought about doing it, but then I was, looked at what time it was. I was like, I don't feel like it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to. But I'm also having a lot of fun with this camera. So there is that. There is that. But boy, howdy, this yard has got some work. And I need to... I need to find someone who, at least on a budget or something, that can help with these trumpet vines, because I can, I cannot do it on my own. I've tried, and they're growing all over. They're growing all over. They, they are unbelievably aggressive. You leave one little bit, and it'll find its way to proliferate. So uh, never let these get in your in your yard. You will regret it. And there's a red wasp. That's yeah, that one's a red wasp. Look at that. This, the, their sting is a little bit more painful than the guinea paper wasp. They're not great. And they're a bit more aggressive, too. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get going. I really wish they'd fix this, too, but they're not going to do that either. Anyway, this is Terra Quator. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their Thursday. And you're going to see Tessa tomorrow on VR Chat because she's not going to miss it. <laughs> so we'll see you all tomorrow.